Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Nimbatus with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a brand new planet on the same save as the previous little mini video, which honestly, this video is probably going to be as well. I'm normally not a huge fan of the shorter videos, but right now with the limited time I have, it just makes sense, since I do want to explore very specific things about the game. Now, the reason why we're here is because of this. Destroy the large hive at the planet's core and you will get an epic weapon. And of course, I want the epic weapon. There's also a lot of resource to be had here, so let's select a drone. Probably make a new drone for this, honestly, and let's get building. So what we need then is roundabout protection and we need the ability to actually core down into the center of the world. So actually, what we could do is maybe use something similar as before, have an automated drone, but with a few weapons, namely things like the missile pods, which are manually controlled. However, we don't actually have those. Oh, but yes we do, we have the bio-rocket gun. Now are these the ones which will home in? Yes, they are, fantastic. Let's just get rid of that. So then, let's get building something. So a bit of a change of plan already, rather than going with the idea I outlined at the start, we're going to be copying this here, the stabilised 4-way drone, but making it into a combat design. So right now I've just quickly built the tutorial version so we can see how it handles, and I'm really hoping this is going to prove something useful when the enemy itself is the core. So let's do the test flight. No enemies please, I said no enemies, go away. And yep, it handles exactly how I thought it would. That is really weird in comparison to the last time. So if this thing does become unstable, it should be able to self-right. Clearly I've got it the wrong way. Oh no, there we go. It is working, it's just I've placed the actual sensor upside down. Oh, you're nasty. Still works out perfectly though. So this way we're never going to flip and we're always going to face the core. So as we go around the planet, our orientation is going to change to be facing the center, almost like a boss battle in some of the old shoot 'em ups That's really interesting, but first of all, you. Other way around, please. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go, now it's stabilizing correctly. So let's see if we can make this a little bit more combat ready, and then we can see if this is a good idea. Basic combat test. We kind of look like a really angry four-leaf clover, don't we? Also, did I mention I absolutely adore these missiles? Because I really do. The only issue is I doubt they're very effective versus the ground. We're also going to be running out of power way too fast built like this. There we go, goodbye. Still... Ow, a bit light there with the shields. Still works out pretty well. If we build this a little bit better, I think this is a really good design for just general combat. So much easier to control than the more regular control scheme. Okay, I really like that, so let's build this a bit better then, shall we? Or at least a bit beefier. One of the two. So we definitely have enough power to withstand a decent attack. I actually don't know if the batteries drain faster if we take more damage in the shield. Let's find out. We definitely need to move our weapons though, these are so unstable as they are. I can't tell if that damage is actually getting through or not. Either way though, it doesn't seem to be using up any more power, which is good for us. But yeah, the... Sparks are hitting us, but is it actually doing damage or is that just a visual thing? Hard to tell. And now, yep, far more stable now they're all connected in a more logical way. I think it's about time we just test this out versus the planet. I am under no illusion that there is a very real chance this is just gonna die. 
we have no idea what we're facing. Apparently, it's tougher enemies than we faced before, and I don't think this is going to be able to carve into the earth particularly well. I'm actually considering adding a couple of lasers just to help out with that, or a couple of flamers or something, so I can sit close to the ground, burning down, whilst I shoot around. I also now realise I should really stop calling all the different planets Earth. They're clearly not. And launch! Please work. Of course what we could have done is attach the other drone via a hinge or something, which would have been interesting. Okay, regular enemies to start off with. There's one of the hives. Hello, you're not a regular enemy at all. You're a bigger enemy, which... Whoa, okay. You are very explosive. This is gonna take a while. This is what I was talking about. These weapons are not particularly good at cutting into the ground. But since we're not under attack, there's no real rush, so sure, continue. Slight change of plan. I want to see how we handle going around the planet, turning around it. I also want to see where these guys are spawning from. Aha, and that's already been found. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, and goodbye to you again. I want to find the transmitter. So let's do that quest first. Oh, this is perfect. Could be a little bit faster correcting itself, but yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Down goes you. Hello, little dronies. And there's the transmitter. Say goodbye to you. Okay, back to where we were. Shields are really overpowered in this game, it seems. What did I just bump on? The trees aren't physical objects, right? So you bumped me anyway. This may take a while. Again. Oh, hello! I have drones too, you know! Hello there, Mother Hive! You seem easier than the other hives. I expected more of a, you know, evil thing. Oh look, look what we can do. Well, there we are. And let's just go into the center of the world, which is now our home. Ooh, resources. Wow, having this type of control makes things so much easier. I wonder if you can harvest this using the chainsaw, since if you just shoot it, you don't get the resource. At least I don't think you do. Let's find out. Doesn't seem like it, and even if you do, it's very slow. Uh, drones? There you go, drony boys. Since we wasted all our money before by mistake. Oh. There you go. Good, I can just remake you. Non-ending supply of drones. Wish you followed my mouse. That would make life easier. Like the missiles. Come on, there we go. Let's see if there's any resources on the surface before we leave. Did I mention that this control makes everything easier by so much? I think the game difficulty needs a little bit of scaling at the moment. But saying that, we're still in some of the easier areas, but I've not noticed anything that can go through shields. I'm not saying, ow, that anything- Oh, look at that! As soon as I, I was complaining about that, I almost died because I'm a dum-dum. So those explosions can, then. There we go. No, parts of me. Ow, me. Can these missiles hurt me? When they detonate, at least. Looks like they can. Or are they just hitting the parts? No, it looks like they're just hitting the parts around me. But when they expire, does that explosion hurt me? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so let's leave them. The rocket... Ooh, it's in purple. Oh yeah, because it's epic. Bio-rocket shotgun. Ooh. Plus 200% digging strength. Well. Let's duplicate you. 
to ding and let's edit you and let's attach one of those I believe these can aim anyway so we could just replace a couple of them so let's just go clink clink and then you can go there and you can go there and let's put you on the right mouse button because why not Oh, they're homing just like the other one. I really should have read it. So these are slightly more deadly versions. They don't seem to last as long, though. But I do shoot that lovely volley each shot rather than just a single. So that's cool. There's a new weapon we've unlocked. But, like I said earlier, I do want to make a sort of spinning death machine. And I'm kind of tempted to still have a directional sensor. However... We can spin, so what I want it to be is that it starts spinning on a toggle. So you press one button and it starts spinning, you press it again and it stops. Simple as that. Then when it stops, the directional sensor will be able to realign the craft similar to this, so it acts pretty much like this when it's not spinning and becoming a death ball. That's the idea of it anyway. I'm not sure how feasible it's going to be, but I would like to see if it is an option. So let's get doing that then. So here we go, setting up the spinning element. You can go there, point directly into the corner like so, then one here. Really should attach those together, but that's fine. Nothing too major going on. Since this is just a test to prove the spinning will even work. Okay, all on Alpha 5, and then what I would like is the switch. Put there, and you are 5. And of course we do need some fuel so this thing will actually work. I hear that would be somewhat beneficial. 5. Well, that definitely works. Hello enemies! Look, I spin! However, I didn't set up that correctly, did I? Toggle is F5, so I thought then by pressing it, it would just keep on pressing. Oh, okay, so it has to be the activate. That makes sense. So then let's do it again. So six is... Okay, I've got it all set up correctly now. I just misunderstood the basics there because, well, that's normally what I tend to do. Just one of the charming things that makes me, me. A huge helping of derpiness. Perfect. Okay, so now... Yeah, we need to see if this is going to be okay. So the problem with this... Is that... This is going to be on even when it spins, so it will constantly be trying to fix the motion and thus slowing down the spin. I wonder if there's a way to turn off this. Is there a toggle for it? No, it doesn't seem like it. And then the thrusters can only have one input anyway. Unless we use one of the gates so that we can force the thrusters on that would normally be helping to try and slow it down since it's always going to spin counterclockwise. That would make sense, wouldn't it? That actually makes complete sense. Not going to do it because I don't have enough time, but that it definitely makes sense and when I do have more time, hopefully we can make that a thing. So we still want this to function though, so we do need power. We definitely need more fuel than I've gave this thing. So let's just bulk this out a little bit. And of course, though, the more we bulk it out, the heavier it gets and the slower the spin, which is not exactly what I want. I've also found that attaching things to the center really isn't too bad until you start making more complex shapes, and that's when it really becomes an issue. Then we're going to want the flamer at the end. Let's just see how this looks with four of them. The less we have, the better, of course, because it means we don't need as much power. So we can keep our size a little bit lower. Just do this. Sure, why not? 
It's like a Catherine wheel. That's glorious. Need a few more, though, I feel. Also need more power for that. Still very cool, though. Still very, very cool. Just, we need more. We definitely need more. We could put the anti-spins here as well. Here, 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 here. So we'd actually be quite close to finishing this off, surprisingly, with how it looks right this second. Uh, is that... No, look, that looks stable enough. Looks like it sort of overlaps, but it definitely looks better like that. Is there, is there going to be an issue when it spins, though? Oh, I just saw one of them get flung out. Mm, no, it's just that one, because it's a little bit further on, anyway. What other weapons do we have? I've definitely seen in some of the trailers, there are some really cool bullet versions. Let's see if the bullets would do better than the flamethrowers. You would think that the throwers would be better by default, but you never know. Once again, going with green, because apparently this save has got all the green stuff. Also have the spark thrower, but I wasn't a big fan of that, honestly, in terms of its looks. Okay. On, and... Oh yeah, these aim where your mouse is, so that won't really work. So right now I think the flamethrower will be the only option. Or perhaps the lasers. Could use the lasers, it would make us far shorter range, but I mean... It'd make us really good at cutting through things, though. Just allow us to fall towards the gravity and just burn our way through. Oh, that is awesome. I kind of want this now. Oh, now you attack. Now I'm out of power. Let's just get our power back. Not really doing much damage to them. Doesn't hit them for long enough. And once again, we need more power. I'm tempted by the beam lasers, but the flamers seem to do more damage to enemies, which is definitely the better option. Oh, I think... I think we're going to go with flamers. So, I'll attach the flamers, I'll attach the regular directional sensors and the regular thrusters to see if we can have the best of both worlds. I don't know if we will be able to, but... We can hope. We can dream. Okay, let's test this out, and spin mode! Well, it does get the job done slowly, I suppose. There we are, spin mode off. And stabilizing a little bit too slowly, honestly, but yeah, the prototype works! It works, but how much does it work, I suppose, is the question. Also, this is absolutely hideous. Trying to have the best of both worlds is really hurting this, because if we didn't, it means we wouldn't need the sensor, it means we wouldn't need the thrusters, because we're just going to simply tumble towards the center of the world. But yeah, so what I think I'll do is, because I am running out of time right now, we're going to make another new drone. This time, we're not going to have the normal controls, we're just going to have it spin, and we're just going to allow it to drop into the world using the lasers and maybe some of the flamethrowers so it's pretty much going to be just a bundle of energy and weaponry spinning around aggressively towards the planet sounds reasonable it sounds reasonable a little while later and this is our new prototype way more batteries way more weapons and a couple of shields far bigger than the original intention but let's see how this one does then Save and exit, let's launch, and maybe it will work. Maybe. Into the world we go, so the flamethrowers should be able to destroy the hives and the enemies, the lasers should cut through the world. That's the idea. I'm also curious if the large hive in the center is now back or not. It still counts as being completed in the top left, so... I really don't know. Oh, please don't actually ram the hive there. You'll take so much damage. Oh, thank you. That may have did some damage anyway with the explosion. I really don't know. Oh, looks like we don't have enough lasers. We're not cutting through the earth fast enough. The dirt. The world. I said I would stop calling it earth. Just about doing it.
We have a little bit of spare power, as we can see one of the solar panels is still fully charged. So we could add a couple of extra lasers, just that little bit of extra we need. I just saw a huge supply of resources then. Hello there, resources. Oh, well, there we go. The hive is still here. We just lost one of our batteries. Things are exploding everywhere now, but we did kill the hive. So it did work. We just need more lasers. That's the thing. Or more speed on the spin, so there's more uptime with the lasers hitting it, I suppose. But that might not actually make any sense now I think about it. It doesn't really matter. But clearly sacrificing maybe half of the flamethrowers for additional lasers, that would have just worked. It definitely would have. Since we still managed to make it, we just took a bit of damage on the way. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that videos of Nimbatus is something you wish to see continued in the future. I still don't know how to say the name of this game. Goodbye.